Aloha my friends, Christina here and I'm so happy to be back in a new video with you today. I'm gonna to be sharing with you easy juicing recipes for lazy days. I have people reaching out to me all the time asking for simple, sweet, and quick juicing recipes that they can make at any time. Whether you just got home from a long day at work and you don't feel like making something complicated or whether you're just having a lazy day and you want something that is hydrating and simple, I've got you covered. I'm gonna be sharing with you two delicious juicing recipes today. And what I love about these recipes is that they are perfect for summer. Many of you have reached out asking if I'm gonna host a juice cleanse challenge this summer and the answer is yes, it's coming. So please stay tuned. It won't be for another couple of weeks that I'll make the announcement, but for those of you who are wanting to do a juice cleanse as a group or even just try drinking one juice a day, stay tuned for that announcement. If you'd like, you can sign up for my email newsletter at fullyraw.com and you can be the first to know once I launch the signups. I've gone ahead and added my email signup link below. For those of you who join my email list, you will get a free download of my ebook, Five Easy Ways to Go Fully Raw, and that's in the description below for you. So let's jump into these recipes today. The first recipe I'm gonna be sharing with you is sweet and pink and delicious and perfect for any occasion. It's also great to help reduce inflammation and to boost your energy. The second juicing recipe I'm gonna be sharing with you is a hydrating green juice, safe for diabetics, and for those of you who want something a little bit more savory instead of sweet. I drink this green juice pretty much every morning. I love it so much. There's nothing better than a good staple green juice recipe that you can have on hand. I'm gonna be using my Nama J2 juicer to make these recipes today. If you're looking to get a new juicer, this is the one that I love and use and recommend, and it's simply amazing. You can see from this technology that it has a wide hopper, so you can add in whole ingredients at the top. You don't have to chop things as small. You can add in whole apples at a time. You can even add in a half to a whole pineapple peeled. This juicer saves you time and prep, and it also allows you to batch juice, which means you can make a lot of juice at one time. You can make copious amounts of juice in one go, and this is a slow cold press juicer that keeps your juices fresher longer. The juices do not oxidize as fast, so these juices will store in your refrigerator in a sealed tight container for up to three to four days. Right now I like to juice two to three times a week and I will make a large batch of juice each time I do. That way I have enough juice to last me for the next couple of days. You can get $55 off the new J2 juicer by using the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout and I've included a special link below for you as well. Enjoy. Each one of the juicing recipes I'll be sharing with you today only has four simple ingredients. The first juicing recipe I'll be sharing with you today is made of pineapple, apples, beets, and lime. Right now it's pineapple season here in Hawaii and so I have these very sweet, delicious sugarloaf pineapples. I first twist off the top and then I cut off the top and the bottom and then I peel the skin off from there. I juice everything else in the middle, including the core. Pineapple is a wonderful fruit to juice to help reduce inflammation and to help with digestion as well. You can use as much pineapple as you'd like in this recipe. I'm making enough for approximately two or three days, so I'm using three large pineapples. I'm also gonna add in one lime or lemon peeled. Adding fresh citrus in your juice is a great alkalizer, and it also helps to keep your juices fresher longer. If you wanna add in some extra antioxidants and also a touch of color into this juice, add in approximately half of one large beet, or if you really like beets in your juice, you can go ahead and add in the full beet. Last but not least, I'll add in approximately five to six apples based on this quantity. This juicing recipe will give me approximately four 32 ounce jars of juice. If you want one jar, simply quarter this recipe. How sweetly delicious does this juice look? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to dive in. The best thing about this juicing recipe is that everyone loves it. Whether you're a vegan or into healthy eating or whether you like junk food, everyone I know loves this recipe, including children. This is a great recipe to serve to guests or at parties. Not to mention it's loaded with healthy vitamins and nutrients and it is so good for you as well. The second juicing recipe I'm gonna be sharing with you today is a refreshing and hydrating green juice. Those of you who know me know I love my green juices. I really cannot go a morning without one. This is my typical breakfast recipe right here. I'll enjoy 32 to 64 ounces of this green juice. This green juice has only four simple ingredients. This juice is made of cucumber, spinach, lime, and celery. 
If you want this juice to be sweeter, you can always add in some extra apple or even some extra pineapple into this recipe as well. For this recipe, first go ahead and peel your lime or your lemon, add it into your juicer, and follow it with your greens or your spinach. If you don't have spinach, you can use another green like kale. You can then cut up your cucumbers and your celery and load those into the hopper as well. Cucumbers are such a perfect fruit to juice in the summer because they are so hydrating. We oftentimes forget to drink a lot of water during the day, so drinking a hydrating green juice like this that also has a lot of extra vitamins in it is a winner. Not to mention all of the natural sodium from the celery is very replenishing. This juice is remineralizing for you on so many levels. It's an all around good for you green juice. Once you've loaded all these ingredients into your juicer, you can go ahead and strain this juice if that's your preference. I personally like a smoother juice and you can pour this juice into any glass jar of your choice. Is your mouth watering yet? This juice looks so refreshing. I cannot wait to dive in. Yum! How delicious do these juices look? I have batch juiced and made enough for at least the next three days. So I have made my lime, beet, apple, and pineapple juice. I have made my lime, celery, cucumber, and spinach juice, and I could not help but resist to make one extra sugarloaf pineapple juice straight up just like this. It is so good. And also another tip for those of you who are learning how to juice, one ingredient juices are usually so good. So you can juice something like pineapple, apples, watermelon, grapes, just that one ingredient and it will taste amazing. You cannot go wrong with a one ingredient juice. If you have liked these recipes, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more juiciness to come. If you're looking to find more raw vegan recipes, especially juicing recipes, you can download my Fully Raw Vegan recipe app. It's available on iTunes and Google Play, and there are more than 450 recipes on my app for you. I've included both of those links for you in the description below. Please check it out and enjoy. If you're looking to get a new juicer, please check out the new Nama J2 juicer. You can use the code FULLYRAW55 to get $55 off this epic juicer. Hopefully I was able to show you how cool it is and what it can do. So if you're interested in getting a new juicer, that link is below for you and please check it out. Thank you all so much for joining me in this video today. I hope it inspires you to go get juicing and to eat more plant-based foods. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Sending you my hugs and my love. Bye.